especially some of the, the female vehicles. They have like a really extravagant hoodies and they have like all the backs and the back parts and they have all the details. And I like yeah. that. It's very, very unique. Yeah. New York has style too, but it's different. The neon. The neon, yeah, very, the neon very signs. The neon signs uh, in, in Tokyo, all the bright like lights. lit up at night? Yeah. It's yeah. not like that. Not not like that. Yeah. How are you? Doing great. Really Thank great. you so much. Awesome. Yeah. Where are you guys actually from? Uh, New, Jersey. New Jersey, United States. It's really nice, yeah? yeah. How long the uh, flight? 14 hours straight, luckily right to the Honda Airport. It was pretty nice, not bad. We went United, it's pretty good. Not too far, right? No, not too far. I mean, uh, one, one shot and then Honda Airport, like 20 minutes from here, from Shinjuku or Shibuya, which are really great areas if you're gonna go come visit. Definitely recommend. Really nice. Yeah, okay. really good. Uh, what brought you in Japan? Well, I guess we've always a loved bit, um, yeah. two things more we've been planning for a while now. Yeah. Plus, we've always loved the culture, like the art style, and we've always loved anime as well, but the food and everything. So, we're just like, let's, let's do it, you know? It's finally time. Finally, after yeah. the COVID and after everything. Yeah, especially the shutdown. Booked, yeah. We booked this trip in March. Since yeah. March. March? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, we really wanted to come for sure. Yeah. It's more than half a year, right? Yes. Yeah, more than half a year we've been waiting, but it was definitely worth the wait. Yes. 100%. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel right now? Great. Great. I, I mean, I really love the people. I mean, honestly, if you're going to come to Japan, Learn a little bit of language, be respectful, learn a little bit of the customs. It goes a long way. I think the people here are very welcoming. Just, you know, I, I think people just think, oh, you know, Americans, it's like, for us at least, it's like, we've gotten great response, and I think people here are really awesome. Yeah. Uh, good to know, it really. Uh, by the way, I really like your clothes. Like, <laughs> Thank you. This is the old school, this is kind of how we got into it, you know, when we were kids. Where did you buy, by the uh, way? I think we went to like one of the like novelty stores by us in the United States for mine at least with the helmet and everything. Yeah. Mine was online. There. Amazon. <laughs> no, also online. <laughs> they only had the Yellow Ranger. Um, Amazon available. did not pay for this production. <laughs> <laughs> it's free. Uh, you just bought it. Yes. Yeah. But you actually brought. Your closet costume from yeah, your country. From there, we figured if we're gonna celebrate Halloween, we do it right. Yeah, yeah. dress up and everything. <laughs> What's the reason to choose your like hero? Did you like it? I've when always loved Power Rangers. Rangers. Yeah, the Red Ranger was a big thing when I was a kid. That was probably my main superhero as far as me growing up. Well, the Red Ranger OG, you know, Red Ranger. Hey, I, hey Red Ranger was still OG, and he stayed for most of the series. True, but Tommy, Tommy's the guy. Started red, then green, then white, but Red was OG. He also kind of looks like him. <laughs> I don't know about that. I think so. I think so. <laughs> maybe, maybe if you change. You right, that's what I said. That's what I said. <laughs> So you really like it when you were a child of food. Yeah, and it's always carried through. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. But how did you watch? Uh, is that United States famous to watch that Hero series? Uh, we actually had on on the TV series. It would play like every Saturday, every Sunday on the weekends, and then yeah, it's reruns, and then from uh, Money Morphin to Turbo to Alpha to all all of the series. To Neo to Dino Thunder. Exactly. Exactly. Space this guy knows. <laughs> Right, I didn't know that. What's uh, any uh, impression of Japan so far? Uh, it's been really great. I mean, people are welcoming, culture's really awesome, food's been amazing, yes. and just, I mean, everything, every, I think everyone should eventually try to come here. Just spread, spread the love around the world, you know? I think it's just that uh, a lot of countries are very secluded and this is just such a welcoming country. And I know, like, I, like my family's from Europe, and I get it. Sometimes in Europe it's very, you know, touchy but here it's been really great. I mean I don't think we've ever had one bad person interact and everyone's been, been super amazing. awesome. Really great again people are amazing. Um, we're definitely gonna come back. Yeah hundred sure. <laughs> percent. You can't do it in one trip, you gotta come multiple yes, times. Yes. <laughs> I want to visit all over Japan. Yes. Yeah, thanks so much for saying that. You're I mean, an example. <laughs> <laughs> That's nothing to do with that. us. The people here are just awesome. Yeah. You too, yeah. <laughs> What's the like excited thing or uh, like you want to must do in when you come in Japan, right? Well, technically, we went to go see the Yokohama Gundam Factory. Uh, we did that. The, the, the Tokyo Sky Tree. Uh, we're also going uh, to Kyoto, so uh, to a lot of the shrines over there and Osaka. Um, we're actually going to a swordsmith in Kyoto to actually 
worked with a swordsmith and build the blade. So that was that I've always wanted to make a blade since I was a kid with a blacksmith. So there's I mean there's sword and sword cutting. And That's also sword practicing samurai cutting experience. Wow. Yeah, really? Tamashigiri, yeah, in Kyoto. You say you are going to see the Gundam. You, do you like also Gundam as well? Uh, we actually do uh, model kits. So we paint and, and build and build yeah, we hand paint them. So the model kits like uh, all the 1100 series, 1144s. Uh, we have a uh, page I do, Mecha Frames on Instagram, hashtag Mecha Frames, uh, where I actually do designs and I paint them uh, Gundam and I post it online. Okay. Yeah. I soon to be doing stickers and t-shirts, so we'll see. <laughs> Wow, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> Is that your like paddle job or just doing as a hobby? As a hobby. hobby. Yeah, yeah. She, she started we, actually... We both met each other through that hobby. Yeah, she was actually part of a group that hosts in the United States. They have groups that uh, go out, they teach people how to use it, how to paint and everything and the culture. And I just did it on the side and I went to one of the events and we kind of hit it off. Yeah. So we had to hit on the factory. Yeah, that was number one. Yeah. <laughs> number one. So you're actually like painting the uh, Gundam? Or yeah. yeah, we build it. Gear. Yeah, the, well, actually build the it. model kit. So it comes in sheets, you cut it down, you, you file it down, you hand paint it, and then we do photography on it. Wow. Yeah. Please show me uh, like later. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Really like to see that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Are there any like shop or like difference between your country and Japan? Technically, I would say the food shops. Yeah. The, the trend clothes. Mm. Amazing Super here. chic here. Oh my really goodness. chic. Yeah, over there is more conservative. I would say the, really nice. the clothes over here are yeah. amazing. I wish I could bring that mm. culture back. Yeah. I love it. I do like the street avenues, the way everything's like kind of close together. It feels almost more like home like, you know, it's everything's really uh, uh, nicely uh, wound together. Yeah. I feel like community is really nice. Yeah. So you actually want to back our. Japanese course to your country? I wish. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah that'd be awesome. Yeah. Yes. Well, what kind of clothes do you see so far? Just the street or? The street, mostly. The street clothes. I mean, like, even the jackets, uh, a lot of the pants, or like even the waistwear, like the belts, are just a different kind of style. They're a little bit sleeker, a little bit more modern, and I really like that. Yeah, I think it's really cool. Especially some of the, the female like, clothes. They have like a really extravagant hoodies, and they have like all the backs and the back parts, and they have all the I like yeah, it. it's very, very unique. Yeah. New York has style too, right. but it's different. I, I feel like here, I, I kind of want to bring it over to New York. I feel like it would be a nice merge, a nice blend. Even though compared to New York, the Tokyo have unique way for oh, yeah. fashion. 100%. I think it's just, even like the streets are well more lit, super clean. New York, yeah, I mean, there, there is something to it, you know? <laughs> How's the New Jersey as well? I think that jazz is famous, but Jersey's cool. It's not as um, it's not as populated. Not it's city. more open land. Yeah, which is nice. Farms. But New York is is the city, you know. But Tokyo, it's pretty awesome as far as cities go. Definitely on top. Definitely on top. Hundred percent. You experienced like uh, many things so far in Japan, but like what things you would like to bring back to your country? The transportation as far as the, the train is super efficient. Honestly, puts us to shame. Uh, I'll say it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It just it just is what it is. Super nice. Um, also, the food. It's a lot more of. A, I guess it would be a, a lot of different food. It's more accessible, easier, in a lot more places. In, in Jersey, New York, you do have to kind of find the spots. And there's not a lot of. You know, there's like only a few spots that are like really good, and it's, and the rest are okay. Here, everything's awesome. But I think yeah. here for a really good quality dish, the price is affordable. I, it's nice because it makes you want to keep coming back and eating more of it because it's affordable, it's delicious. Mm. I feel like over there it's a little overpriced. Mm. Um, so that would be great if we can bring down the prices over there and bring more quality from Japan. Nice. So like it's more reasonable. On the way, like, the food is good. Oh, oh yes. yeah, great. Super good. Yeah. High, high quality food for sure. Yeah. Even the drinks, the, the apple juice. Also, the, the vending machines. I like that there's vending machines everywhere to access yeah. drinks and stuff. Instead of having to go to stores, that is really cool. I do like that. That is super cool. What are the difference between the uh, vending machines? 
the vending machines there are just like basic sodas. Mm. Just like Coca-Cola, Sprite, mm. Dr. Pepper, Ponza maybe. But this is like you have apple juice, you have energy drinks, you have coffee, coffee. you have matcha, oh you have a tea, you have iced tea, you have you have such a selection. It's for everybody. Yeah. Over there it's just sugar. <laughs> yeah, just one kind of sugar drink and that's it. Here you have more variety. Yeah. By the way, I really like all of this and uh, thank you for the interview. Oh, of course, no problem. Hope you enjoy the I will, we will. Thank you very much. Yeah, so thank you for accepting the interview. Uh, where are you guys actually from? Uh, Australia, Melbourne. Melbourne. Melbourne? Yeah. yeah. I've been interviewing like two people. Okay. In Melbourne. Oh, okay. oh really? Yeah. yeah, wow. Um, yeah, it's, it's easy for us to get here because there's direct flights yeah. straight up and it's not that expensive, so it's, it's easy to visit. Mm. Time difference is not big, right? It's, it's like only one hour. One hour. And I think on October 1st, it goes yeah, to the same. Yeah, because we have daylight savings. Yeah. It goes and then it. Yeah. Uh, what brought you in Japan? My father was an airline pilot out of Narita for nearly 20 years. Um, so I've been here many, many times, but um, my wife hasn't. I've never been. Yeah. So we were coming and visiting and uh, wanted to show her Japan. So. But that was a surprise. Yeah, he um, came over a very long time ago uh, because there was some airline uh, things that happened in Australia. And then, yeah, came here. What the things would you really like to try? As this tree food. definitely food yeah we, we already love... tried a couple of new things yeah like eel eel which yeah. was interesting okonomiyaki and uh, sushi um yeah lots of different things matcha ice cream mm. and i spilt it all over myself <laughs> <laughs> um yeah the food and then also it's just a beautiful country there's lots of um beautiful things to see so yeah have you ever uh, tried Japanese food in Melbourne? Yes, yes, we love Japanese food. Mm. Uh, so we have it all the time in Australia, but it's much better here. What the uh, like specific food in Melbourne? Japan is like sushi or? Uh... Mm. Good question. <laughs> yeah. We talk about it all the time. Um... Australia is hard. We don't have like specific food because it's such a it multicultural all... yeah. kind of com country. There's lots of different uh, cuisines. cuisines and they tend to originate from different places that aren't actually... Yeah, what is it? Vegemite? Vegemite, <laughs> yeah. Tim uh, Tams? Yeah, it's a, yeah, Tim Tams, Pavlova, all that sort Tim of stuff. Tim Tams. Yeah. yeah. My friends give me that. Oh, uh, yeah? yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, with the milk, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. That's... Uh, More snacks that are traditional yeah, to Australia. Yeah, I think so. Australia. Yeah. Um, Rather than, like, specific kinds of foods, I think. Yeah. yeah, definitely. I would try that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What's the impression Japan so far? Love, Beautiful. Love it. Yeah, it's a yeah. very uh, neat. Um, everyone's very white yeah. um, and uh, people are lovely and it's a beautiful place and uh, the food is great. Uh, it's very humid. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, very different heat to Australia. Yeah, it's very yeah. dry. It's very hot in Australia, but it's drier. It's very, it's much more humid here. Yeah, we we don't get much humidity in Australia at all. Um, so it's yeah, it, that's probably the main thing. But it's it's still lovely. It's nice yeah. that it's warm. Yeah, right. Yeah, like uh, what's uh like any difference between uh, Melbourne and Japan so far? I think, uh, at least in Melbourne, we have pretty good public transport actually. Uh, but the I think the the way that the architecture looks and everything there's a lot it's there's a lot more like neon and um signs and things like that obviously the food as well um and the language yeah. <laughs> language yeah uh, but that's what do you think yeah i think as well our public transport's good but lots of your systems are more organized and yeah yeah they make a bit more sense i think yeah what's the most like excited things that you want to try in Japan. I think we were really, really excited for the food yeah. um, in particular because we love Japanese food, uh, but also just to see uh, all the beautiful things. Um, mm. We haven't, uh, so like in, in Tokyo and Kyoto and um, yeah, everywhere along the south coast is where we're headed. So just wanted to see all the beautiful sites. The bullet train. Bullet That'd be train. cool because yeah. I've never been on a bullet train. Yeah. you actually going the uh, Osaka, Kyoto too? Just yes. Yeah. Like uh, there is some uh, Japanese food I recommend, like okonomiyaki or yeah. takoyaki. takoyaki. Those are really yeah, good. Great. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, okay, we'll have to give that I a try. Okonomiyaki. Yeah, okonomiyaki is your favorite. Yeah. Okay. Have you tried before, or is this? Your... Well, we we've had it in Australia, yeah. um, and we had it a couple of days ago, 
Um, yeah. We uh, near Sensor G. Yeah. yeah. And that was amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you book any uh, restaurant or no? Just we, just going. The we way that. Anything. Yeah, only yeah. hotels. Yeah. Uh, well, the way that we travel is a lot more. Uh, relaxed. We we don't we try not to book over lot, lots and lots of things yeah. because we like to sort of just explore and do things one at a time. So we haven't booked any restaurants. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you just want to go in. Yeah. And then see that what what she goes. Yeah. Um, we get recommendations online and and stuff, but uh, if we everywhere we've showed up so far that we've been able to get into, so it hasn't been an issue. What things or culture like would you like to bring back in Melbourne if it's possible? I love the um, the style and the aesthetic uh, of the Japanese architecture and everything. Um, everything is very like purposeful. Yeah, if that makes sense. Uh, you do, it doesn't seem like there's wasted space at any point, um, and everything's very practical. Yeah, and safe. Yeah, everything is very practical and mm. safe. So uh, probably just a little bit more of that. I think in our lives. Um, is probably the thing that I think. What about you? Yeah, same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Just... Cook more Japanese food as well. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. And the way your um the trains are, mm. like on the inside, when yeah. they're designed is just much mm. more practical as well. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really uh curious about the architecture, like yeah. Are there any difference between Melbourne and Japan architecture? Yes. Like, mm. Yes, definitely. it's uh, Australia is very uh British uh inspired if that makes sense i mean we are a british colony so it's it's very in, like english um european looking compared to here which is uh, definitely um very very different so yeah i'd say that's the main thing okay. anything you think no. the neon the neon it's yeah very, the neon very... signs the neon signs uh in in tokyo yeah. all of the bright like lights lit up at night oh, yeah. yeah it's yes. not like that it's not like that. Yeah. <laughs> is it like out of the Kaizen? Yeah, yeah, like the advertising. Yeah, yeah. 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 There's really unique, right? Yeah, very yes. unique. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like it over there? Yeah, oh, we love the yeah, signs. love the neon. It's sign. beautiful. Yeah. Reserved, I think, maybe in Melbourne. Um, yeah. I don't exactly know why, but yeah. yeah. I'm really glad to know, like, about you guys' opinion. Yeah. Thank you for uh, having us interview. Like, hope you enjoy in Tokyo. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. For accepting interview, uh, what's your name? My name is Francesca mm -hmm. Umali. And uh, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Philippines, but I live and I work in the U.S. in Seattle. Mm -hmm. So you live in Seattle? Yes, I live in Seattle. How's the uh, living over there? It's very cold. Mm -hmm. Right now it's probably raining every day. Mm -hmm. Um, but I love it because you can see all the seasons change mm -hmm. and it's by the ocean and it's very close to Asia so it's only one flight to Asia. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. And it's, I think Seattle is also like green too, right? Very green. Yes. Yeah. Lots of hiking and snowboarding mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, lots of outdoor activities. I like to do things outside. Mm. That's uh, nice to hear that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also like What's the reason to come in Japan? Um, the reason for coming to Japan was I wanted to go take the train with my friend and mm -hmm. visit the national park mm -hmm. and uh, see other small towns outside of Tokyo mm -hmm. and also go around Tokyo and try all the different food and visit the temple and the shrines and yeah, just enjoy, enjy Japan now that more and more people are visiting again. Mm. So you come here because of the like food or like, different culture? Yes. Yeah. Visit many places? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We visited uh, Nikko National Park and we mm. did hiking there. It was really nice. Right. Uh, and then we took the bullet train. So the bullet train was very fast and comfortable. Mm. And then we also took the train to Hakone mm. and we did a natural hot spring in the mountains. Uh, in Hakone, and that was also really nice. Uh, and then after we just went around Shibuya, and we went to uh, karaoke. <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah, we did. We visited a robot restaurant. Mm -hmm. uh, so we did many different things. <laughs> mm. You 
experience like many things, yeah. Yeah. Even though like uh, this uh, short video. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I think seven days you can do a lot in uh, Tokyo. Even doing day trips from Tokyo because the train is so fast and it's very easy to go by train. You can go to a lot of places. So you also went to Hot Spring. Mm -hmm. How was it? It was the best. It was so good. They have it's a, a woman. They have women and men, and it's nice to just be outside in the hot spring in the hot water, and it's very good for the skin. Yeah, it was very relaxing. Yeah, it's definitely <laughs> so much like relax, right? Mm -hmm. If you go there. Yeah, I wish there were more onsens in other places. Mm. I think I've only been to an onsen here in Japan. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think in US, I think they don't have. No, right? and you you, ha you have to wear a swimsuit <laughs> in the US. Here it's no swimsuit. <laughs> <laughs> right, you need to wear that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's really different. Right? Yeah, it's very different, but I think it's better with no swimsuit. <laughs> mm, right. That's true. Yeah. And uh, also, like, uh, what's uh, like difference or any shock when you uh, come in Japan, like compared to your dreaming? Uh, I think the food here mm. is just you get so much food for not very much mm. because in the U.S. If you go eat sushi, you're spending over $20, $30 for one plate of sushi. Right. And here you can get a whole plate of sushi for much less than that. Mm -hmm. So it's really nice to be able to eat and eat and not feel like you're spending all your money. <laughs> so it's reasonable and then you can eat more. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. Sometimes I just want to eat because it's like, I'll try it just because it's not expensive, I'll try something new. <laughs> That's true, yeah. yeah. You said uh, you try uh, like sushi. What mm. else did you try for? Like, we Japan tried food? omakase. Mm. Yeah, it was my first time trying omakase. omakase. I really liked it. It was maybe 20, 25 courses. Right. Yeah, afterwards, I was very full. <laughs> yeah, and the chef was really nice and he explained to us each dish. So it was for my friend's birthday. Wow. So it was good. It was a really good meal. It was very, very filling. She's done omakase before in the U.S. and here it's very authentic Japanese omakase, and it was very, very affordable too. I'm happy to you like it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you went to other like Asian country before? Yes, I've been to Korea. I go to Incheon a lot. Um, and I also visit other Southeast Asia, so I've been to Vietnam and Cambodia, Thailand. My family's from Philippines, so I go to Philippines a lot. Right. So I usually fly through Narita to get to Manila, and so I've, this is the longest I've ever spent in Japan. Normally I'll just stay in Japan for two days and then go to Philippines, right. but this time I decided to stay longer. <laughs> what do you do for a living? Oh, I work as cabin crew, oh, right. so I work for a U.S. airline, mm -hmm. so I fly a lot of international flights, mm -hmm. so mostly from Seattle. Mm -hmm. So that's why you usually like stay for a bit? Yes, right. uh, for only for 24 hours, so when I work here, mm -hmm. I lay over and then 24 hours and the next day I go back. So I cannot go far, I cannot go to Nikko, I mm -hmm. cannot go to Hakone. Right. So this time I was able to go far. <laughs> you went too far away. Yeah, very far. <laughs> yeah, I think next time I come back I'll also go further. Yeah, further north. Maybe go snowboarding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. like this winter <laughs> yes. snowboarding really good. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So you experience like many things in Japan so yes. far. What things you would like to bring back your country? Like anything should be fine. Oh, um, I really, I really like J Beauty, Japanese beauty. Really? Like J Japanese skincare mm. is really good. I went to the, I bought a bunch of souvenir for my sister and me. And then I also bought a lot of uh, just small snacks to bring mm. to my family and everything. Um, just small gifts because I travel very light. Yeah. Um, yeah, and also I I will encourage a lot of people to also come to Japan because it's very safe here. Right. I feel Thanks like so because I travel by myself, it's really easy. I don't have to be worried too much about being alone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so you said uh, Japanese beauty? 
Yeah. J Beauty. Uh, J Beauty. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like yeah, yeah. K Beauty, but Japanese Beauty. Oh, right. Yeah. Right. It's very big here. Yeah. What things did you buy? Like skincare. Skincare. So yeah. essence, serum, moisturizer, cream. Yeah, yeah all that stuff. <laughs> right, right. You bought many things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what are you uh, like a favorite Japanese maker? Oh, um, yeah. oh, there's so many. Right? <laughs> I don't know the name. I don't know how to pronounce the names uh -huh. of them. But there's uh, Facio. Mm -hmm. um, there's R and Me, mm -hmm. I think. And then there's a few other ones. I just use my phone to mm -hmm. translate when right. I'm shopping. <laughs> Because like it's hard to read. Right? Yeah, it's hard to read. But I think everything is really good here. It's similar to K Beauty in Korea. They have very good skincare. I think Japanese beauty and K Beauty are very very good. Mm, right. I was like happy that you like. Yeah. Japanese uh, J Beauty. Yeah. Yeah. J Beauty. Yeah. J -beauty. J -beauty. Right. yeah. Right. And then, do you have any question for like Japanese? Like, do yeah. you have any do you, do you uh, enjoy people coming and visiting like from all over the world? Like uh, personally, I'm really happy. Yeah. But uh, like some people think it's like over tourism. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's a little bit issue. But yeah. uh, as long as like Japan is uh, getting uh, up revenue from yes. that, it's, yeah. I think it's over. Well, people here are so friendly and right. helpful. Mm. So it's nice that everyone here is really really welcoming. Mm. Thanks for uh, yeah, asking. Of yeah. Please enjoy in Japan, right? Thank you. Arigatou desu. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for accepting the interview. Uh, what's your name and where are you from? Uh, I'm Megan. I'm from California, United States. And I'm Danae from Mexico. Which part of the California and uh, Mexico are you from? Uh, I'm from San Luis Potosí, like in the middle of the country. <laughs> And I'm from a small town just outside Sacramento. Sacramento? Yeah. So what makes you to uh, live in or move in uh, this city in Japan? Um, so we came because one of her friends is getting married in Singapore. So we made a trip out of it to meet in Japan and then go to the wedding yes. after. Um, and also we've just, we want to try the food, the culture and see as much yes. as we can. Congratulations to your friend, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Do you have any like uh, plans? Uh, yeah, we're going to Kyoto on the 12th. Uh, we're going to stay in Kyoto for a few days. Then we're going to Nara. Then we're going to Osaka. Then we're coming back to Tokyo. Um, and we're having two day trips to Mount Fuji and Yokohama. You will go many places. Yes. yes. <laughs> How do you make the prank? Like, did you just start? Or? I planted, yeah. yeah. What have you are, like excited things in Japan? The food, I think. The food's yeah. a big one. Um, I'm really excited to go to Kapabashi Street. Um, I work as a chef, so I've heard it's like a chef's dream. So I'm really excited to go there. Yes. And then Fuji, of course, is like a classic to see when you're in Japan. So we really wanted to see that. And um, I wanted to see some anime locations yes. as well. Yes. Anime locations. <laughs> yes. And you're doing the chef? Yes. Yeah. For California, right? Yes, in California. Cool. What kind of cooking are you doing? Right now, I'm doing Mexican cuisine, um, <laughs> in honor of her. But I'm looking to move into French if I can. Yeah, French is one of the famous uh, chef trade, right? Yes. Yeah. Really cool. Yeah. How are you? What do you do for a living? I'm a student right now in London, but um, I guess I'm a translator. I go into translation. Oh. I'm good with languages. She <laughs> speaks many. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How many languages? Uh, Spanish, English, Italian, French, German, and I'm learning Russian and Japanese, and I do Latin and Ancient Greek for school. Really? That's a lot, yeah. <laughs> You're really smart, yeah. Thank you. And then regarding you said you like uh, food, mm -hmm. what kind of food do you want to try in the country? Ooh, um, Everything. Everything, yeah. There's this uh, mochi, grass mochi in uh, Nara, like yes. Natani, no? Tonkatsu for me. I want to mm. try tonkatsu. I'm really excited about the seafood and sushi. Mm. Yeah. You will go west, uh, like Osaka, Kyoto, Nara. Mm. Yes. yes. And then there is some uh, okonomiyaki. Oh, yeah, the yeah. egg thing. Yes. yes. Like, 
Japanese style pancake. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And then we do have a takoyaki. Oh, Ooh. I love takoyaki. Yes. Yes. I think uh, if you want to have regional pride, mm -hmm. uh, there is some uh, dessert in uh, Kyoto, Nana. Like mochi, dango. Mm. Oh, please try it. Yeah. Oh, we tried the, what is it called? Uh, you know, the fruit that is like caramelized with sugar? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. What is it called? I have I the picture. I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> I have the video. <laughs> Not the video. <laughs> so the... you guys very know for the funny food. <laughs> the... What are they called? Oh, uh, with the like sugar on top. Huh? It's like um uh, we call it the ame. Ame, ame. Okay. or ringo ame. Ringo oh, ame. Ringo ame. <laughs> okay. Cool. Was it like really uh sweet? sweet. Right? Yes. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. <laughs> We liked the grape one the best, yes. And we go to uh, the 7-Eleven a lot. <laughs> yes. To get onigiri and uh, soft-boiled eggs. Yes, <laughs> soft-boiled eggs. Do you guys have convenience store in your country? Yes. Yes, but they don't have as many fresh options. It's more like pre-packaged like chips, candies, things like yes. that. Yeah. It's totally different. Yes, yes, it's better here. It's better here. <laughs> You try onigiri, like how was it? It Very was good. good, yeah. What kind of onigiri was it? Uh, I got tuna mayo, mm -hmm. and I had one that had a pork and mayo, and then a soft boiled egg on top. Mm. It's really yummy, yeah. It was yeah, so good. Are there any trying new things uh, in uh, Japan so far? I feel like the newest thing was the little radish and fish thing. Oh yeah, we got the. I don't, we don't know the name. <laughs> yeah, it, it came with our order. It was like a free appetizer. Because we went to... I forgot the name now. Oh my I God. did too. <laughs> you are making me nervous. <laughs> uh, we played this. We went to Isakaya and uh, they gave us yeah. that. It was good. It's like a small fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and then radish. like radish. Radish, yeah. So yeah. it was new. <laughs> it was good. Well, was it good? Yes. Yeah. Okay. At first we looked at it though and we were like, what is Ooh, this? What is <laughs> <it>? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to call us the English, but I will let you know later. Oh, thank you. Are there any uh, like difference of uh, culture uh, or any shock when you come in Japan? We were kind of talking about that with each other. It's We weirdly feel very comfortable and very at home. The weirdest thing for me is just the I don't speak or read Japanese at all, and so it's weird not being able to see what any signs say, but that's the only weird thing for me. Uh, for me, I think it's it's very quiet for such a big city. I feel like it's very quiet. People are very respectful, very polite. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for saying that. And then uh, it's, uh, it's quiet city. Yes. yes. Uh, I think Tokyo is a little bit like maybe really crowded mm -hmm. and then a bit noisy, like compared to other prefectures. Yeah. But where, where do you feel in oh, this is quiet? It, I don't know, I feel like the, well, I feel like everywhere is kind of, well, yesterday we were walking through Shinjuku, so mm -hmm. that was a bit louder, yes. but the train is quiet. Um, the people are generally a little more soft-spoken. Yes, and in the streets it's also quiet, especially yeah. if it's for like a big, a big yeah. street. Yeah. I see, uh, you mean the like, atmosphere and how yes. they like, yes. act? Yes, it's more calm than we're used to for cities. Yes, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. But it depends on people. Like, if you go to other places, they might be really noisy. Yeah. This is true, <laughs> yes. Maybe, yeah. We have only been here for a day. Yes. So. In Tokyo, you will go any specific city? Uh, from you, now on? In Tokyo? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We haven't been to Shibuya. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to Minato. Minato. Because mm -hmm. we're going to the Tsukiji market as well, but that is in Chuo. Yeah. Oh, ah, yeah. that's a fish. Yes, market. yes, yes. And we're we'll, we'll going to different places. Mm -hmm. We'll see. We'll I mean, we have a plan, but we kind of. It's like an outline yes. of a plan. You only stayed two days, but uh, what things uh, you'd like to bring back to your country? Like Anything should be fine? Culture, spiritual? Oh, um, definitely we'll bring some snacks back. Um, I plan to buy a fillet knife on Kapabashi Street. And then we were talking about chopsticks too. Yeah, engraved chopsticks. Yeah. 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 Did you say 
Capri a knife? A uh, like, fillet knife, yeah, like for fish. Yeah. This was oh. a chef. Because you're a chef. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool, yeah. One day I want to go, you're crazy. Yes, yes. <laughs> One day. One day. Yeah. Thanks so much for accepting the interview. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for interviewing us. ご視聴ありがとうございました。質問のご希望や動画の感想をコメント欄でいただけると幸いです。たくさんのコメントお待ちしております。チャンネル登録、応援お願いします。